there's any more questions you'd like to ask us, any information you'd like to know, then do drop us a line, worldweather at cnn.com. And stay with us. Asia Tonight returns after this short break. CNN.com any hour of the day. Click on weather and you'll get four day forecasts for over 8,000 cities around the world. Now, from the editors of CNN, Time and Asia Week. Learn what's happening in Asia with CNN.com Asia Now. Follow the latest economic trends in all the world markets. CNN.com Asia Now. Go inside sports, no matter what your game is. Rain or shine. Four-day weather forecasts for thousands of cities worldwide. From around the world to your desktop, wherever you are, get it all at CNN.com Asia Now. When it comes to your health, CNN provides the breaking news and information you need. CNN's medical experts report on cutting-edge advances in treatment and prevention from around the world. Dr. Steve Salvatore looks at global health issues from nutrition and exercise to parenting and adding years to your life. Plus, log on to the most complete medical site on the web, CNN.com and WebMD. Make your health a priority only on CNN. And time now for a check of the headlines on Asia Tonight. Indonesia's Security Minister General Warwanto attended a cabinet meeting in Jakarta today, ignoring President Abdurrahman Wahid's call for him to resign. A human rights report this week accused Warwanto of being responsible for the mass killings and destruction in East Timor last year. The Speaker of Indonesia's parliament says Mr. Wahid may have been hasty in calling for Warwanto's resignation. China is protesting a measure passed by the U.S. House of Representatives that would boost military ties between the United States and Taiwan. China's foreign ministry summoned U.S. Ambassador Joseph Pruer today to express its opposition to the bill. The measure would lift a ban on direct cooperation among military officials from the two countries. It faces an uphill battle in the U.S. Senate and a veto threat from President Clinton. Searchers have found four bodies but no survivors from the crash of Alaska Airlines Flight 261. Hundreds of personnel are searching the waters off Point Mugu near Los Angeles, California. The pilot of Flight 261 radioed that he was having trouble with a jet stabilizer just before it slammed into the Pacific Ocean on Monday. 88 people were on board. And that is all for this edition of Asia Tonight. I'm Ann Kwan in Hong Kong. Thanks for watching. Different beat. World Beat, the first ever globally televised music program. Get the latest international music news. If the internet becomes just a market for pirates, then you're not going to have legitimate commerce there. In depth profiles. We do have something to offer to the world, too. And Africa gave rhythm to the world. There is something dramatic in, in French music because. When we speak about love, we wanted to believe in what we say. And interviews with artists.